it is Friday and it's first thing in the morning, as you can see from the state behind me, but I am off to the knitting and stitching show. So it's about seven o'clock. I'm just waiting for Adele to come and grab me. Um, I've already been taking my mum to work. I'm up and dressed. I'm raring to go. And I've just woken the rest of the whole household up. So I'm going to take you with me today and hopefully be a good vlogger and share the experience with you. But before I do that, I just thought I'd pop on and let you know what I'm wearing today. I am wearing my Style Arc Bell dress in this gorgeous Lady McElroy fabric. Now I know you can't really see it because of the light, but I'll try and take a better picture and pop it in here for you to have a look at. I will um, catch you all as I continue through the day. home and in my pajamas not me made unfortunately these are um just shop bought ones i needed to come home and just put comfies on um but i thought i'd pop on and show you amongst all the footage of all the bits that we got up to um what i bought because i did buy i was really really good i had a natural budget and i came in well under my budget guys i mean well under my budget i um have bought literally all leopard print now i've been into leopard print for as long as i can remember but i have never seen as much leopard print fabric as i did today i mean you can tell it's it's trending on the high street it's obviously a big trend out there at the moment um and i just feel like my style is just everywhere it's really really bizarre so i bought lots of leopard print but let me show you what i did buy so we beelined it to um rainbow fabrics this morning because we knew that they had some leopard print denims and i really 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 wanted to get two things and i didn't really want them to sell out so i think that these are at, so i think these go on their drop tonight um, and it means I just feel like I've had a bit of a sneak peek towards it. So one of the things that I picked up now, it feels like a cord, but I do think it is a denim. I'm not sure, but it's this leopard print. So again, like my fabric godmother de leopard print, it's a darker colorway, which means that I can wear it. Now I bought three meters of this and, um, and the reason I've bought three meters is because I thought, it might make a good dress or structured jumpsuit. Um, I'm going to wash it and see how it comes out. But I am thinking it would make a lovely zady. I have made a zady before out of a um, needle cord, which was quite nice. And I really like the way that it looked as a structure. So that was £9 a metre at the stitching show because they always give a discount there. And then the other fabric that I bought from Rainbow Fabrics is this gorgeous fabric here. So this is a viscose crepe. It's quite a nice weight viscose crepe. This is a dead stock of, um, I can't remember what they're called, but it's a dead stock fabric of a really, really expensive luxury brand. So I just couldn't resist this when I saw it because it's pink and it's leopard print and it's very, very me. And I'm thinking this would make a really lovely, um, I had a thought of what, what um, Adele was wearing today. Sorry, I'm getting my track, I'm really tired. Um, 
what Adele was wearing today was the Pauline dress by Closet Core Patterns. If I've got a picture of all of this in, I, you, I'll put it in so you can see the dress that I'm talking about. And this is a really lightweight one. Hers was made in a cotton lawn and she just looked sensational in it. She really did look stunning and it's just made me want to make it. I mean, I've never looked at that pattern before and she looked beautiful in the short version that she shared that she made for So Confident. But she looked stunning in this long version and I just, it's made me want to make it. And I think this would be a really good fabric to do that in. It'd be fun, um, but really, really nice. Um, but then equally, because I've got three metres of this, this would make a gorgeous shirt dress. It'd make a gorgeous um, lightweight wrap dress. Um, yeah, number of things. Um, but yeah, leopard print. So they were the two things that I bought from Rainbow Fabrics. Then this was from David Wells, um, this next fabric, which was one of the stands. And of course it is another leopard print. It's a hot pink knitted, I think it's Ponty. No, it's not even Ponty. It's definitely a knitted fabric of some sort. Really nice and thick. I bought three meters of this. This will either be a really nice long South Bank jumper, billy, um, cart, long line cardigan, but I have bought three meters, so I could make a dress um, that's quite long. So maybe like the Devon dress by Seamwork, which is really, really long. So many ideas for this. I need to work out what I want to do, but it's my colour pink and it's got these gorgeous black leopard print spots all over it. So I was really pleased with that. Um, then final piece of fabric that I purchased. Yes, another leopard print. Now this is so soft it's like teddy fleece kind of blanket like the kind of blanket that you wrap around you when you're at home and even the inside of it is really nice and fleecy as well so this is a sort of creamy color and then you've got these sort of brown spots here but then you've got the big black so i think i can get away wearing it because of all of these contrasting colors and if you guys could feel how soft, how fleecy, how beautiful this is, you would understand why I purchased this. And it wasn't expensive. It was £9 a metre and it just feels really, really nice. And it's got a gorgeous print to it. And I'm so pleased that I purchased this. So that was all the fabrics. So literally, my fabrics are three leopard print fabrics. And they're... <laughs> They're all different shades of leopard print, basically. So, chuff with that. I did buy a pattern. Now, I've seen this is the latest release by Emporia Patterns. If you guys know me and you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I love a wrap dress. I love um, a faux wrap dress. I love it in woven. I love it in jersey. And I just make absolutely loads. And this is the Margot dress by um, Emporia Sewing Patterns. Now... I spotted this on Instagram and I knew they'd be at the show today and I made a beeline for it. They had a couple of samples on the rails as well whilst I was there that I got to look at. One of them just happened to be in a leopard print. Um, it's for jersey fabrics. It's a faux wrap. So this bit here, it's the skirt is attached and looking at the construction of it, it looks like a really good, easy dress to make. So I'm just desperate to get that sewn up because, yeah, I think that's going to be incredible. I think because it's a quick make, I mean, I really want to take my Thea's tomorrow to the sewing social that I'm attending. But then there's this other part of me that thinks I haven't washed my Beyond the Pink Door fabric for a second time. And I think it needs washing for a second time before I actually sew it up. And I can take the pattern pieces to adjust, but I know that this would be quite straightforward to cut out. I've got some jersey fabric I could use and also to get it sewn up pretty quickly. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. That's my daughter in the background, the eldest. She's gonna, you know, just sneak through the room like she's not here. Um, but she's probably gonna crawl on the floor. Nope, 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 she's just sneaking through. So that was the pattern that I bought. And then I, of course, couldn't go to the knitting and stitching show without popping to Little Rosy Cheeks. Um, and I'm just double checking that I didn't get anything else. I don't think I did, but I have to check because this is me. Oh, no, I did. I did. I've got a couple more bits. Um, I needed some rotary blade cutters. 
so I picked up some of them from Barn Yarns, Barney, Bar no, Barn, <laughs> yeah, Barn Yarns, Barn Yarns, and then I picked up some jeans, needles, and some universal needles, and then I popped a little rosy cheeks, and I picked up they're five for 25 um, in labels because I put a label in everything. I do love a label. So these are actually one of my favourite labels of Little Rosy Cheeks and I've run out now. So I've that's a restock because I just like those labels. These are, I think, quite old labels, but I've never had these ones. They're imperfectly perfect. Um, they're the same sort of put-in labels. I feel there's an ongoing joke between me and Adele because I think these are like the put-in and then the other ones are like the poking. I know there's a professional name to them. I prefer put-in or poking. Um, these are poking labels. So these are some of her new ones, I think, um, that just say me made, but they've got like a zebra print on the back um, and that contrast in orange. Um, these are, sewing is for everybody. Again, some of her older labels, but not ones that I've had. These ones are poking labels. And then these ones, more poking labels that say stay true to you, which I just think is really lovely. And then you got a little freebie and it was a different freebie to what you normally get from her. And it's this one here that says sew me. And I actually really, really like that. So I'm going to try and pop that one into one of the fabrics that I've bought today because I, I find that that makes sense to do that. I did that with one of the things I bought from Scotland recently because I think it just reminds me of the event and becomes quite sentimental. So that was everything that I purchased. It's been a fabulous day. I went with Adele, took me, as I said this morning. We met up with Katie, who is whatever Katie sews over on Instagram. Angela, who is Devon Threadtails here on YouTube and over on Instagram. And then we also met up with the lovely Cara from So So Mad. Um, she came and joined us later in the afternoon. Felt a little bit bad because we'd sort of done a lot of it by that point. Um, and we left about three o'clock. We did hit a bit of traffic on the way home. But yeah, we left the show about three o'clock. It's taken me a couple of hours to get back. And then it took Adele, for, it would have taken Adele another hour. I've come in, chucked pyjamas on straight away. Thought I'm going to film this bit. And then um, I'm going to chill out. I'm going to order a pizza and just have a nice chilled evening. So I'm all ready for my sewing social tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed the little snippets of today and today's vlog coming with me for the knitting and stitching show. I will um, catch you all next week. Let me know if you went, if you said hello, because I know I had a couple of people come and say hello. Um, let me know what you bought. Did you buy any of the fabrics that I got? Was leopard print on your list? Because we even convinced somebody that wasn't leopard print today to buy leopard print. Um, yeah, let me know how you got on. But thank you very much for taking the time to watch me. Have a fantastic week and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.